The James Webb Space Telescope, also known as JWST, is the most powerful telescope ever built for space exploration. It is designed to look deeper into space than any telescope before it and can see things that are too faint, distant, or ancient for other instruments to detect. JWST lets scientists see light that has traveled for billions of years, allowing them to look back in time to when the first stars and galaxies were forming. It gives us a chance to understand how the universe began and how it has changed over time. This telescope does not just study our Milky Way galaxy. It also observes galaxies, stars, and planets far beyond our solar system. One of its most exciting goals is studying exoplanets, which are planets orbiting stars outside of our solar system. There are many types of exoplanets. Some are rocky like Earth, while others are made mostly of gas, like Jupiter. Many of them remain mysterious, and JWST helps scientists learn more about what they are made of and whether any of them could support life. Scientists are especially interested in planets that exist in the habitable zone. This is the region around a star where temperatures might allow liquid water to exist. Since water is essential for life as we know it, finding it on other planets would be an incredible discovery. JWST is able to study the atmospheres of exoplanets by examining the light that passes through them. It looks for gases such as methane, carbon dioxide, and water vapor. These gases are important because they are linked to life on Earth. Even though finding these gases doesn't prove that life exists, it gives scientists clues that conditions might be right for it. Each new discovery helps researchers understand how common life-supporting planets might be in the universe. One planet that JWST has already studied is located about 120 light-years away from Earth. This planet orbits a small, cool star and shows signs of carbon-based molecules in its atmosphere. Among these molecules are methane and carbon dioxide, both of which are exciting for scientists. There are also traces of water vapor, which means that this world might have the conditions necessary for water to exist. Discoveries like this suggest that planets with potentially life-friendly environments might not be as rare as once believed. A special planet called K218b has captured the attention of astronomers. It is around 8.6 times larger than Earth and is known as a sub-Neptune planet. This type of planet is larger than Earth but smaller than Neptune, and there are none like it in our solar system. K218b may have a thick atmosphere filled with hydrogen and possibly a vast ocean hidden beneath its clouds. If such an ocean exists, it could make K218b one of the most promising places to search for signs of life beyond Earth. JWST has detected both methane and carbon dioxide in its atmosphere, which are important markers for habitability. Scientists from the University of Cambridge are leading the research on this planet, aiming to collect more data in the coming years. Before JWST, the Hubble Space Telescope had already observed K218b, but JWST provided much clearer and more detailed information. It showed that the planet lies in the habitable zone of its red dwarf star, where temperatures could allow liquid water to exist. Some scientists even suggest that the planet might have a gas called dimethyl sulfide in its atmosphere. On Earth, this gas is only produced by living organisms in the oceans. If confirmed, it could be one of the strongest clues yet that life might exist elsewhere. However, researchers are careful not to jump to conclusions. The atmosphere on K218b might still be too thick, or the surface too hot for life to survive. Even if water is present, it might not remain stable long enough for life to develop. To study these distant worlds, JWST uses a method called transmission spectroscopy. This technique analyzes how light from a star changes when it passes through a planet's atmosphere. By studying the light, scientists can identify what gases are present without leaving Earth. JWST is also exploring galaxies that formed billions of years ago, soon after the universe began. 
It has already found water and complex molecules in some of these ancient galaxies, revealing that chemical building blocks for life might have formed much earlier than expected. In one galaxy, scientists found particles similar to those in smoke, coal, and oil on Earth. These are known as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, and their presence shows that complex chemistry existed early in the universe's history. Joost's discoveries are changing how we see space. With every new image and piece of data, it helps us move closer to understanding our place in the cosmos. It is not just a telescope, it is like a time machine, letting us see how the universe looked billions of years ago. By studying ancient light, JWST helps us learn how galaxies, stars, and planets formed and evolved. Its mission will continue for many years, uncovering more secrets hidden among the stars and inspiring future generations of explorers. The James Webb Space Telescope reminds us how vast and mysterious the universe truly is. It keeps the search for life and knowledge alive, one discovery at a time. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.